Got it. So we talked about how to get employees involved. And you want to think about how to do that. But you also want to think about generative AI risks and how to address those. Data privacy and security risks are major issues. So you want to implement good data protection measures, conduct regular security audits and assessments, and have ensured encryption and secure data handling procedures. So I told you about using things like Microsoft's Copilot, which protects the data that you're using. Train employees on data privacy best practices as part of doing so. So European Bank is an example. It had developed an AI-driven customer service tool, and it had to, of course, conduct comprehensive data privacy assessments to comply with GDPR by anonymizing customer data. So that's what result in, in, in good compliance with the regulators. So the regulators seeing this were trusting of this technique, this uh, AI-driven customer service tool. And of course, it helped the bank be quite a bit more efficient and use less customer service resources. What about bias? You've heard this a number of times in generative AI algorithms. So you want to make sure to identify and mitigate biases in your generative AI models. If possible, use diverse data sets when you're training the generative AI system on your internal company data and take out whatever data might be potentially biased. So there are services which will do that for you. Regularly review and update generative AI algorithms and make sure to implement fairness and accountability checks for the kind of data that AI produces. But the mid-sized tech company, that's one that was already mentioned before, we developed a toolkit to detect and mitigate bias and implemented HR processes to ensure fairing hiring practices. So we double-checked hiring practices that generative AI used to filter through resumes, for example, by filtering through by humans as well and doing some spot checking. So regularly update models based on fairness assessments, and that's how you'll achieve greater equity in gen AI-driven decisions. Now, thinking about compliance, there are going to be a number of compliance issues and a number of bills are coming through various states. So if you're in California, SB 1047, obviously if you're in Europe, they already passed a law in generative AI. So depends on where you are and you want to be thinking about what's going on in your local context. So stay updated with evolving generative AI regulations. Ensure that legal and compliance teams participate and keep track of generative AI projects and document decision-making processes that use generative AI. Ensure transparency and accountability as part of using generative AI. So here's what a regional healthcare provider did. Developed a generative AI for patient diagnosis and then it engaged legal experts to evaluate healthcare regulations as part of doing so. So we ensured that generative AI decisions were explainable and documentable. And that's what made sure that we successfully complied with HIPAA through data privacy and protections and other standards. Now, something to mention that is going to be something to think about in the long term is long-term risks. Not something that you'll immediately be able to do something around, but something that you as a socially responsible corporate citizen should be aware of. So we do face potential loss of control over generative AI systems. Imagine generative AI getting out in the form of a virus. If somebody creates a generative AI tool as a virus that's constantly evolving, that can do much more damage than the crowd strike accidental bug. So AI can surpass human intelligence and super intelligence, and that can create a lot of problems. If a super intelligent tool is given the goal of maximizing company's bottom line, and not necessarily following the laws. So you want to mitigate those long-term risks through implementing and endorsing. Again, not something you can immediately do in your company, but as a socially responsible corporate citizen, endorse and encourage strict oversight and governance frameworks, conduct thorough risk assessments and scenario planning, ensure human on the loop oversight for critical decisions, like talking about making money for the company, and promote international cooperation on AI safety standards. So thinking about that as being a responsible corporate citizen. 